We start off at 5 o'clock with breaking news. In just the last 30 minutes, LSU officially lifting a lockdown of part of campus after reports of an armed intruder there. NBC Local 33's Jonah Gilmore is live at the scene to give us an update on what's been happening and what's happening now. Jonah. Hey, yeah, good evening, you guys. Yeah, we just got the all clear from LSU spokesperson Ernie Baylor. Just taking a look at what's going on here. You can see some tape remains out here. There are still some cars, but we have been giving the all clear. Baylor tells us an event was going on in the building and a plane closed officer was walking with a visible gun. He says the all unclear if that alerted people, but he says after locking down the building and clearing it floor by floor, they determined that was not a threat. About three o'clock, the university sent out a tweet saying an armed intruder was inside Coates Hall, urging those inside the building to run, hide, or fight. A second tweet said, continue to avoid the area or remain in a safe place. Now, moments ago, we spoke with someone at the time who was inside at the time. He says he thinks it was one of the workers who allegedly saw someone with the gun. One of the cleaning crew had uh, said she saw someone with a pistol. Uh, she came back up to our office, sort of passed that word. Um, we all locked our doors, locked the, the school doors. Turned the lights out, locked our office doors, and just waited. And then about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, um, we probably waited in there for maybe half an hour. And police knocked on our door, announced that they were the police. Um, we poked our head to make sure we, no one was lying to us. Um, we saw the guy in uniform and unlocked the door, and he told all of us to leave. Yeah, school is not in session, but orientation is going on. We're told there wasn't many people inside the building at the time of the reported incident. Again, there are no threats here at LSU. Ernie Bell with LSU just confirmed to us they have been given all clear. Students have been able to leave the buildings and go in their whereabouts. Of course, we'll stay here and bring you the very latest as it becomes available. Reporting live from LSU, Jonah Gilmore, NBC Local 33 News.